Hello, my name is Richard Lyman. I am excited to show you my meal planning grocery lips app. It is called Cybus Planning. Cybus means food in Latin. How did I get into coding? I'm a musician and a music teacher, and I've been passionate about that for most of my life, both of those things. Um, I taught music for six years, but toward the end of my sixth year, I found that just the strain of trying to help students who come from difficult backgrounds, uh, especially in the wake of COVID, was really taking a toll on me and my family, so it was time for a change. Uh, so as I started looking elsewhere, I saw a post on LinkedIn from a friend of mine who I studied music in college with um, about hire, his company was hiring software engineers. So I thought, wait a minute, how are you a software engineer? <laughs> you studied music in college with me and you weren't doing coding. I'm sure of that. Uh, so I messaged him and I learned that he did a boot camp. He worked really hard at that and then found a job about two months later as a software engineer. Uh, so inspired by his courage, I, I did the same. I, I tried out coding for a little bit and found I immediately enjoyed the critical thinking, the problem solving, and the detail orientation. Um, I found almost immediately that the problem solving skills I developed as a teacher and the detail orientation that I developed as a musician channeled beautifully into software engineering uh, and coding. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this journey that I'm on right now. I have since landed a job as a quality assurance engineer for a software company, and I hope one day to write software for either that company or another one. The story for this app was simple. Uh, my wife and I have been married for seven years. And early on in our marriage, we often found ourselves arguing about whether or not it was worth it to go to the grocery store to get a certain ingredient so that we could make the meal. I usually would say, oh, let's, let's just make pizza with cheddar cheese instead of mozzarella. It's okay. It'll work. And my wife would say, no, we need to go to the store. And so we'd fight about that. <laughs> Somebody suggested we start planning our meals and immediately we knew that that was going to work better for us. So we, we've since done that, but it does take some time. It takes my wife or I, depending, around an hour and a half to plan all the meals for two weeks. And so I wanted to write an app that could make it so that you could plan all the meals and then have a grocery list ready to go in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So that's that's what I'm shooting for with this. The technologies that I used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React.js, React Router DOM Package, Python, Django REST Framework, Django, Postman, MySQL, Miro, which is an entity relationship diagram software, and then of course, lots of Google in. <laughs> um, so now I'd like to show you my app. So this is this is kind of the home page. So if you uh, you can of course register as a new user. Um, I'll just log in with the account I've already created. So you'll notice as a new user, if you log in. This is the page you'll see. There won't be any meals there. So they'll have a little bit of instructions. They can either go to all meals or they can create their own meal. So I'll show you all meals right here. Um, so here's all the different meals that anybody has contributed. So anybody that uses the app can contribute meals to this list. Um, and so we see information about that meal. This plus sign makes it so I can add that. So this is now, pancakes is now on my meal schedule. Um, so I could add several of these, which is why uh, you could have your list of meals done in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So there's there's about two weeks worth of meals. Um, the other thing you could do is create your own meal if, if the one that you'd like to do isn't on there. So you could type a name in. Um, we'll say lasagna. I don't know how to spell lasagna close enough. Um, and then click save. And then you have the option of adding ingredients, um, quantities and units. You could say bag. And then you've got your 16 ounce bag of pasta. You could add some notes if you want. You can add a URL to the recipe. Um, click save and there is your meal plan and you can now add that to the meal or if you change your mind you can remove it from the meal so that would uh, get you where you need to go recipe link if you need it 
Um, if you decide later on that you need to edit that meal, then you would go to the My Meals app. And this is all the meals that the you as a user have created. So you can come back in and edit those meals if you need to. And you can always do that. Um, once you've got your meal plan created, you can then jump over to your grocery list um, that's already been pre-populated with all the ingredients, uh, with the duplicates are already eliminated. Um, so if all you want is a list of ingredients, you've got that right there um, and a checklist. If you decide you actually want to use the app at the store or something, you can also sort it with meals, uh, number of meals, quantities, or everything. Um, once you have that list, then depending on how you want to do it, you could then copy it to your clipboard. So I think I just want quantities and I will copy this now to my clipboard. I can see that's what I just got on my clipboard. Um, there's a lot of places you could put this. Here's one example. I could put it in here, paste right here. Oh, that's... There we go. Okay, so that just added all of those to my list. That's one way you might do it. You might add it to a Google Doc or Google Keep. Um, but just a quick, really easy way to, to take all of the food you need for your groceries and have it in a quick, easy list app for you. Um, and if you see an ingredient that you think, oh, maybe we don't need that, you, could, you can navigate back to it as needed. Um, so as far as technologies and uh, challenges that I faced, the, one of the big ones was learning how to create a many-to-many -many field uh, that also has custom uh, fields on it. Uh, so this table here ha is, has a many-to-many -many relationship. So I have a, a schedule here that has to have its own table. And then I also have a meals table in my database. And so those had to be uh, linked together in a many-to-many -many relationship. And then I also had to have other things on them, like whether or not you've cooked the meal. Um, so all of those had to come together in order to create this meal schedule. So it was, it, it took some thinking and some really studying in the documentation to understand how to create that many to many relationship. Um, also, I definitely found that being able to add and remove things from the, the list in different places uh, took a lot of thinking because of the state having to be updated. Um, so what I ended up doing was passing that state into a use outlet context um, so that all the different places in the app would be able to add or remove from the schedule. Um, same thing in here or in here. Um, so that was that was a really cool challenge. And then one of the other big challenges was taking all this information and putting it into a grocery list. So I had to create a custom Django query um, where I had to start with the schedule ID and then get all of the meals associated with that schedule ID and then grab all of the ingredients associated with the meals on that schedule ID. Um, so I used that Django query that had a whole bunch of data on it. Um, and then I passed it to my front end and then I kept all that data there rather than filtering it before it came to the front end so that I'd have the option of all these different sort types where you can have everything in your grocery list or just a few things. Um, future generations of this project, I definitely would like to see this become mobile friendly. Uh, at the scope of this project, I didn't get to that. So I'll be excited to make this something that, that works well on a mobile phone. Um, I'd also, next big thing would be to add the opportunity, the ability to like uh, meals on here and then search and filter so that you can quickly find the meals that you want and then add them to your list. Um, and then lastly, I'd like to be able to uh, sort these, change the order here. So if I wanted to move this meal down, I could move it down or up and then I could add it, say this, I wanna have this meal on Monday and it's dinner. And so be able to add a day and a meal type and be able to change the order. Um, so that's something I'd like to work on for future generations. So I'm really grateful for all I've learned. I'm super proud of um, what, I, what I've become and as a, as a programmer and I'm grateful for Dev Code Camp and all they've done to help me. And I appreciate your time watching this video. Again, my name is Richard Lyman. Thanks for your time.